those punches and some kicks. She says she ain't want to be my girl. Hey y'all and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is just going to be why I dropped out of a and North Carolina Agricultural and Technical University. I'm basically just going to tell the storyline of how both my semesters went there and then I'm going to tell you things after that. First, I'm going to just start off with like moving in and all that. So move in day, it was fine, you know, stressful. I forgot to tell y'all like the little background. <laughs> how me and my roommate became roommates. We became roommates because we already known each other since middle school, but we never really talked in middle school and then high school, we would see each other here and there maybe. And then we also had a class with each other. We started cheering together. So once we started cheering together, that's when she would tell me, if you want to be roommates, we could be roommates. We knew each other was going to a and so At first, I honestly was not quite sure if I wanted to do that or not because I wasn't quite sure on who I wanted to be my roommate to begin with. My other option was no longer going to a and Also, my other option was family, and she said she didn't want to be my roommate. So I was just like, okay. Mm so that option's gone. That was like my first option and then her and then I was also her second option and then she had one of her family members, a cousin or something. One day I just texted her and I was like, you know what, we could just be roommates. And before that, uh, we had like one encounter <laughs> with each other that wasn't very good in class. And then we have to like, about that's a whole nother story in itself. And I was in high school too. Before I even told her that I wanted to be her roommate, I was already iffy about the whole situation. Like you can ask any of my friends, even my friends was telling me, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But like, I'd rather have somebody that I already know than to have somebody new that I have no clue who they are. I already knew how she operated a little bit and how she moved. That's just basically like the whole little background. After that, we was on campus, you know, first day we moved in, first day was good. First week. I would say was pretty good. We had met this group of friends, friends. It was all boys. They came knocking on our door. And we said hi, da 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 da. Got to know each other a little bit, you know, enough to, you know, like, what's your name? How old are you? All the little things you kind of want to know when you start talking to somebody. We all like, became like a group of friends. That's who was like chilling with for like a week. We was going to parties together, just chilling with each other, spending time with each other, literally as if. It felt like I knew them for a good minute, but I only knew them for a day and I was already low key kind of close with them. That's low key crazy. I wouldn't even say close. If you looked at us, you probably would be like, oh, they know each other. Like, mostly majority boys. And then it was just me and her. That was the only like, two girls, other girls that would come in a group with us. Fast forward to the second week. I think this is when all this happened was on the second week. It literally happened so quick. I thought we was gonna last together at least almost to the end of the semester, but no. Cause one thing about me, and if you know me, I do not put up with people. Like, I'm sorry. You get to a certain extent, actually. I do put up with people, but to a certain extent. And once you blow that, and I just can't take it no more, that's when I blow, I just, I go. And I just keep going. I'm not even gonna talk about the situation in itself because the situation don't matter. Just the whole part about us not being roommates anymore, I guess matter a little situation happened got in our little fight it wasn't really like a physical physical fight for real for real because there was a person in between us we really didn't have no actual like fighting going on because yeah just no there was no actual like punches for real. like it was punches and some kicks and some some something it's literally like a week or a couple days after that we literally had spoke to each other and we was chilling like we was cool on each other legit could have a conversation without freaking wanting a fight or some junk. That meant that we was no longer roommates because that whole little fight or whatever. We told the RAs, da 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 like we had a fight. Mm. She moved out the room and that's when I had my room to myself. I honestly really didn't like that because the room was just empty. A couple weeks after that, I got another roommate and hey girl, if you're watching this, we was only roommates for like a good week, probably less because she had to leave. So we probably would have been very, very good roommates for the rest of the semester. I'm gonna just tell y'all all about the whole little roommates situation, all my roommates throughout the year. We got my third roommate, this is you know, number three. Um, my third roommate was a temporary roommate. Hey girl, if you're watching this, she was only temporary because she had like a whole little situation with mold and stuff in her room. And that's another thing with ants. It was literally so many freaking rooms with mold, rooms being flooded even our me and my roommate that's gonna be the fourth roommate that i'm gonna talk about kennedy hey girl if you're watching this that was my longest roommate the whole semester so 
we actually lasted but i'm gonna get to that it was a bunch of, like problems with the rooms and stuff at A&T. you would have to keep contacting them for them to actually do it i heard a lot about that we only had like mold on our shower curtain or whatever because i guess that's where the mold grew because it was wet i was mysteriously sick awesome they could not figure out what i had so i'm over here like what do i have like i was sick i was contagious sick I'm telling my voice i'm sick how i felt i was sick they came to the conclusion that I had not a sinus infection, but it was like uh, something like infection right here. It was people going around with mysterious little sicknesses or illnesses on that campus too, and I was one of them. We're getting on to my fourth roommate, my long-lasting roommate, the roommate I probably also should have from the beginning. We didn't know each other since middle school. In college, I seen her one day, went up to her, and we started talking or whatever about the whole roommate thing. Her little whole room situation was not doing good for her. Her roommate was snoring and junk. Like, it it was not good. So I was like, you know what? Like, I ain't even got a roommate. You can come be my roommate. That whole process, too, took entirely too long for her to even become my roommate. And especially she had the room number, the name of me. She had, like, all that information, and they still took long. Basically trying to tell her she couldn't switch over to my room. It just be little things like that, and why aren't y'all doing better? Y'all thought I was done with the roommates. No. I had a fifth roommate, but this was all the way at the end of the school year, and hey, girl, if you're watching this. She was at the end of the school year, and at this time, I actually was not living on campus. I had came back home because I was just going through a hard time. First semester was really really hard and then second semester i should have dropped out but i was just like you know what i'm not even finna drop out because i'm gonna just try to do it which i really should have it would have been the best decision for me especially that like i just honestly was not doing my work it was like no motivation to do it sometimes i would do my work i will say that but overall i did not like if we really being honest i was not she was calling everything i didn't actually meet her in person but we did text and everything when she had just first moved in like a couple days before that i was going to get myself that's like everything with the whole little roommate situation that i had all that time all i would say for y'all probably don't room with somebody you know if you know you're gonna have problems with them which you know it seems pretty the ish to people I just didn't care i guess because i can carry my own make sure you have a set schedule make a set schedule for yourself based on your classes when you come into college because if you don't do that then you're just gonna be all over the place i would suggest like writing it out on like a planner or something if you can to your best decorate your space your room and everything i wish i would have decorated my room like 10 times better than what i did but i just came in i wasn't too much caring about what my room looked like to be honest like i wanted to look decent enough but like i didn't really put too much effort or thought into it as much as i could have meal plans everybody says it but for some reason we still keep making the same mistake but it's like literally when before i went to college people was telling me like don't use all your meal plans still done it still did it it's easier said than done but do not use all your flex at first like the cat food wasn't that bad like i was like okay this ain't too bad you know it ain't no good good but you know it ain't bad you're gonna get sick and tired of it i'm sure like i got sick and tired i just only ate the pizza fries from um williams because there is a difference because in the mini cat they be so seasoning them fries up and they be too much seasoning too salty like mm -mm. the professors there they was just not good i heard this also after I, I was already in college professors aren't teachers like in high school they're supposed to do a lecture you basically go teach yourself or you learn off the internet pull up youtube videos like all the other stuff and i had a biology major i didn't tell y'all that either but i had a biology major which is one of the hardest majors everybody also say be active on campus that was one thing that i really wanted to do i wanted to do a couple of sports because i was also used to doing sports before that heavily in high school like in high school all pretty much all of high school i did a whole not pretty much all of high school i did a sport so i was used to running track like always just having something else to do with my life instead of school work that gets boring that gets mm, like no i wanted to honestly do flag football because i enjoy doing powder puff in high school i signed up for it. i looked on there it was never in game it just wasn't clearly specified to me anyways if you know you used to doing sports and stuff get in a club like get in something where you meeting with people actually meeting with people and talking to people and other than the people that you may meet around campus i met so many people on campus i 
couldn't tell you how many people and had encounters with on campus like none of them were actually like my friends friends and then the friends friends that i thought that i had wasn't really my friends friends like they was just people that i met to come to find out i told them they was fake too so you know it's okay make sure you're meeting with your advisor because she actually did help me a lot like through the whole thing like just they help you basically brainstorm what you want to do and like kind of figure out like the path that you want to take because she was also giving me like different ideas of what I could do with my major parties this is a big thing especially for a &T. the parties was not lit to me I don't even know how many parties I went to that was actually lit like I feel like you have to be lit for the party to actually be lit if you know what I mean okay so one thing I will say about a &T, because we you know this video just a little negative about a &T. they put out connections to things kind of for the major that I had tell us about like all the opportunities that we could have like with internships and just different things like that and we also do get like 10,000 emails a day somebody look over your resume you can have this this that like it was just so many things which I did admire about it like a lot of people don't take advantage of those things and I really didn't but they are there for you to use if you do need I will say the dorms that I do recommend living in if you're going to live in a dorm I lived in pride pride hall if y'all ain't know I do recommend pride hall I lived in 215 for anybody that's gonna be living in there this year sweets e and f they're okay i think pride hall is better than they're like sweet style also and try to get sweet style if you can even though that is more expensive but i would just say try to get that the whole aggie village of course because that's like the newest um little dorms that they got on campus and then also all the apartments the apartments are pretty nice I've only been in one apartment though so I only can speak for that apartment and that was collegiate comments. And pretty much the last thing that I can say, like my last advice to y'all for college is basically just stay focused. Don't be trying to party and all that. Like that wasn't even one of my issues, but don't be trying to party and all that. Just do your work, stay focused, stay motivated. If you are not motivated, try to get yourself motivated in some way, somehow. If you start to get depressed or sad or any of that, try to revert to something to make you happy. College was like one of the biggest learning periods that I've ever had in my life. That is everything that I have to say. Hopefully you guys this first year goes 10 times better than my did for me. But you know, it went like that so I can tell other people, you know, what to do and what not to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you because y'all do not be subscribing to me, but that's okay, you know? <laughs> it's okay but at least like my video if you stay to the end thanks for watching Mwah.